What's going on YouTube? Giasno right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you running on an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus on iOS 10.3.3 or lower. Meridian Jailbreak has finally been released after 8 months. So the Jailbreak has been announced here on Twitter by Sparky the developer and it's available on meridian.sparks.zone. He also posted the screenshot in here which is pretty much the interface of the new version. So if you're navigating here you can see that now when you press download there is also the version 0.9 and this is a pre-release version but it does have a functional Cydia so for those of you who want to use the Meridian it finally works it has Cydia and it can install packages now the version you want to get is the version 0.9003 at this moment but if any other new versions will be created to fix various bugs you will get the newest available do not get older ones from here because they have bugs now the public beta 6 has been around for like eight months but the Cydia in there did not work. For those of you who do not know, this jailbreak works on all 64-bit devices on iOS 10.0 up to iOS 10.3.3, so the entire iOS 10 range. So if you want to replace Yalu jailbreak with this one, you can. If you want to replace the Saigon jailbreak for iOS 10.2.1 with this one, you can. And more important, none of these jailbreaks that I mentioned support the iPhone 7 on iOS 10.3.3. So this jailbreak is going to pretty much help those who have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus running on iOS 10.3.3 or lower. You probably remember that for the 64-bit devices, iOS 10.3.3, there is already a jailbreak and there has already been a jailbreak for months. And that is of course Double Helix, there was also Goblin and many others. But none of these jailbreaks supported the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. This one was the only one who promised to support the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, but it was never released up until now. So in order to get this jailbreak working, you download the latest version available in here and you need to sideload it with CDI Impactor. Just connect your iPhone to the computer, download CDI Impactor from the link below in the description, and of course drag and drop the IPA in here and sign in with your Apple ID to sign the IPA. Make sure that you have an active internet connection. Once you do that, you're going to automatically sign the IPA and you will be able to access it on your device. Now I'm not entirely sure how many people are still using iOS 10.3.3 and iOS 10.x and so on on their iPhone 7 or 7 Plus but if you're still running that and you waited for the Meridian jailbreak to be released then it's your lucky day you can finally jailbreak with it. I'm going to switch to the device and show you how to run it. Alright, so this is the uh, device. Of course, I'm currently running iOS 11 and I have updated the device to work with the Electra. But if you still did not update your device and you're still running iOS 10.3.3 or lower, then you can use Meridian. After you install it and verify it in settings, you're going to see something like this, which is pretty much the new interface of Meridian. Unfortunately, in my case, it's of course incompatible because it detected that I'm running iOS 11.3.1. However, for you, there's going to be a big button saying chill break that of course is going to be colored red and there is also a couple of settings in here for enabling tweaks starting launch demons and even setting a boot nonce there is also the start drop beer and a port for the drop beer and then of course you have the bug tracker source code and support and so on and this is pretty much the credits this is the application you're going to press jailbreak but of course in my case that button doesn't show up because my device is running iOS 11.3.1 however that's pretty much all you need to do your device will pretty much reboot and you will be jailbroken. Now this is pretty much how you do it with the Meridian. I have no idea why it took eight months to be completed but I'm pretty sure it's been a very interesting learning experience for IB Sparks, the uh, developer and everybody who helped him develop his jailbreak. This is pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Gia Snow. Until the next time, peace out.